Thank you for subscribing to the channel, and for all of you that haven't subscribed yet, it would be much appreciated. Thank you in advance. And what I want to talk to you about today is something that I've been asked a lot about, which is how to get your children's book, and especially um, a children's book that has double page spreads, into an ebook. The funny thing is with uh, children's books and ebooks is there's a couple of different kinds of ebooks. There's a reflowable sort of ebook and there's a fixed layout ebook. Ideally for reflowable um, ebooks, it's text heavy. There's images in there, but it's mostly text and it means that the pages will adjust to the device they're, they're working with. It also means the text can be adjusted. It means the text can be altered, even a different font. Um, it can be enlarged. It will it will fit the screen. Whereas we don't want that with a children's book because the last thing we want is the is the text moving all over the images. So we want the fixed text and the fixed images. We want everything fixed. Otherwise, it's going to look a real mess, isn't it? We do a search, and we go for Kindle Kids Book Creator and enter. I'll put a link to this in the description. Depending on the version that you need, whether it's uh, Apple or Windows, you've got both options here. Supported files, PDF, JPEG, TIFF, PNG, and PPM formats. If your book is in Word, save it as a PDF before using Kindle Kids Book Creator. So basically, your best option is just to use a PDF. So your book will already be in PDF format if you published it to Amazon KDP uh, because that's the paperback version you've used. So we're going to be using that file to create this ebook and with Windows. So I download, I open, select the language English in my case, only just English. I'm from I'm from Northern England. <laughs> I agree. All the boxes tick there. Choose your file, install cannot find previewer. Now the Kindle previewer is required in order for you to view um, these Kindle ebooks outside of KDP. But you'll also be given the option to view it on the KDP viewer as you upload and we'll go through that. Now here it is at the bottom of the screen. It might be somewhere else on yours. Kindle Kids Book Creator. Open an existing book. Create a new kids book. Okay, we'll go with that. Now what it's asking you here is import your cover images. So we'll look at that in a second. Add text pop-ups to enhance your book. You don't want anything interfering with your children's book, so we're not going to bother with that right now. Preview your book and save for publishing. Now if your previewer doesn't work, for example, you'll still get the option, because it's a bit temperamental, you'll still get the option to view it when you upload it to Amazon KDP. Okay, so let's basically have a little bit of a read through that. Continue. Title, author required. Please select language of the book, English. And where do you want it saved? You have to, you have to create an empty file. There can't be anything in it already, like an image, like your cover image or anything. This has to be an, an empty file because it's going to be a vessel for all these little files that this program is going to publish. It'll only let you continue if you've used an empty file anyway. We're going to go with a landscape. You can go with portrait if you're using single images, but I don't recommend it because you're going to lose the top and bottom. And you're going to have a little square in the middle. Uh, it's just the way it works out. Minute. Continue. Import your entire book, including the cover. Now you can do that, or you can import your cover from a separate image file. Now I suggest you do that first. So I'm going to choose my cover image. Now with your cover image, chances are your cover's like this. You know, you've got both sides of the cover. Now you only want that side. So however you want to cut that down, whether that's Photoshop, PaintShop Pro or another program, you only want this half of your cover. And save that into a file. Okay. So it's asking to add pages. So I'm just now uploading the same file that I used to publish this book in paperback. Everything's looking okay, but I don't want this. I shall right-click, 
click the mouse on there, left click, then right click, and I can just delete the page. Both sides. It now opens up into the double page spread. And as I go through each page, I can have a little look and see how it's going. So basically with ebooks, you don't need the numbers, uh, page numbering. You really don't need them. Um, but, I mean, if you've already created your file and you've saved that file and you don't want to mess about with it anymore or you can't mess about with it anymore to remove those numbers, then just leave them there. Right, okay, so all the pages are there. Now I go to File, Save Book for Publishing. Now what it's done is it's gone to that file that we first created and it's going to put it in there. Save. Now that's it. You can close this down for a minute. Go to your bookshelf on uh, Amazon and where your existing paperback is here, for instance, if you've got one, you've got an option. Create a Kindle ebook. Click that. Now it's copied all this information here from your original paperback. Keywords and everything else. Now you can select an age range. So minimum, let's go with two. And maximum, I'm going to go with 12. Because it's a nice story. US grade range. Well, oh, forget about that. You don't even have to do this. You really don't. I am ready to release my book. Save and continue. Upload manuscript. And when we go to our files here, if I just move that in here, you'll see Gonk Mobi. You'll see the Mobi file. Well, that's the one we want. Now we can go for Launch Cover Creator, which I don't recommend in this situation because you want something that relates to your book that you've already published, presumably. You can also go for Upload Your Cover, which you already have in JPEG or TIFF. Now when it comes to creating your cover, you're going to have to create a cover separately. Now, ideally, I mean, you can use the cover you had, which was maybe a square, or it may not have been a square, but um, ideally you create another one. If I go down here, you can see I've actually made one that size for this, for this book. Now, all I've done is I've opened the actual cover, which I created in Canva. Now, you could have created it in another app or whatever, and I've pinched, copied all the elements, and I've put them onto this 1600 by 2560 template and moved them around and made it look uh, as good as I can which I'm quite happy with so let me just delete that I'm going to save it as a JPEG because that's what it's asked for download JPEG and there's my image so save as and I'll put it in with the with that file, so I'll click that, upload my cover. Remember that the cover is only to be displayed online. It's it's um, it's for Amazon's bookstore, for its shop, for its uh, marketplaces. It's not really for anything else. It won't be going into your ebook launch previewer. And when it comes to ebooks and things like that, especially with Amazon, or anything, you don't need to use an ISBN number of your own. So don't worry about that. Click OK. So what you've got here now is you've got a top and bottom cut off because of the size of your pages. Now, if your pages were, say, 8 by 10, they will probably fit more with less of a border across the top and bottom. Uh, but because we're working with an 8 by 5 by 8.5 by 8.5, there's no option to get away from the borders on this. But if it's if I'm using an iPhone or something like that or a mobile phone, then this still works. But ideally I still need those double pages, double page spreads to fit on one page. Okay, so that's one page. Next. I'm also given the opportunity here to see that my double page spreads have met and there's a link here to how to get your double page spreads to work. So you've not got any sort of um, pages up and down. Everything works together as one whole page. Okay, so I can just click out of that or go back. Right, that's how the cover's going to look. That looks great. 
launch preview that's been done you have to do that save and continue all territories worldwide rights yep amazon.com select royalty plan 70 percent please amazon price let's just say for instance i go for 2.99 i will make a royalty of or i will earn i should say a royalty of one dollar twenty two per sale well that's great it's an electronic book it's easy 2.99 it's a children's book yeah great i'll go with that and i can just work my way down and change all of these if i want to to another figure it's already set them up for me but i could reset them so publish your book me personally when it comes to putting an ebook and a paperback book on sale I separate them because sometimes it's easy for people to grab a especially when you go with Kindle Unlimited and someone gets a okay they've subscribed they've paid for a subscription but they can download as many or watch as many books as they like um, pretty much they will skip through and they may not take much note of your book and you may get a bad review from it it's like when you go to blockbuster or something like that when we had the videos um you'd pay three or four subs for a book uh, for a video to watch for the night and um yeah you'd watch it whether it, even if it was crap there's a good chance you would watch it but nowadays because of we've got netflix which we pay a subscription to we give it a few minutes don't like it we'll go to another one go to another one and we'll leave bad reviews on them other ones if we had the option on netflix say so that's what happened so i like to keep my ebook and my paperback separate and see how they do and yeah mention that there's a an ebook version in the description and there's a paperback version in the description in this ebook and see how they do and if they're both getting good reviews then I will put them together. I will link them. And you have that option with Amazon to link your ebook with your paperback. But not until they're both doing okay.